guys welcome back to another episode here we will learn how do you design a flowchart what is a flowchart and how can you design a bot uh, so in this example we have taken the bot challenges how can the bot design uh, a student section assigner okay the bot name is student section assigner let me run this and show you what is the requirement All right. So here, if I enter, let's say the roll number is 60. Right. The moment I do this, it says your section for the eighth standard is A, and then it says welcome to section A eighth standard. So it's assigning which section the student has to join. So let me run it again. Let's say I will say 43. So it's saying your section for eighth standard is B and welcome to section B 8 standard right so how do you design the bot and you can see it's constantly asking for any number of students who would like to check they can just use this bot and see which section they have been assigned so this is a simple bot by the way but again let's get started guys myself Rakesh I work in one of the top IT company overall 12 years of IT experience and currently I'm assigned with multiple UiPath projects and this is one of the basic flow chart bot and we will see how to design that okay so let's get started so for this i'm going to click on start and then let me stop the bot go to home page click on start and hit on process and here i'm going to give the name to the bot which is section assigner bot okay and here you can definitely write uh, the details of the bot I am skipping that part but again you can go ahead and write details as to why and what this bot is going to be designed for all right okay now the first thing I will do as I said there are in a in my last video we have shown uh, what is a sequence and how can you utilize that and what is a flowchart is for this video so if you have uh, not uh, have idea about sequence please do watch the previous video so let's continue with the flowchart so I'm going to click on flowchart right here I will say section assigner that is the project name and this is the flowchart name okay now I will click on open workflow and post which so this is the flowchart uh, now there is a difference between sequence and a flowchart in the sequence it has a top-down approach in a flowchart you know I have an option with the arrow I can indicate where it should go and where it should loop and things like that okay flowchart when it's a complex project flowchart is the best I would say because it gives the it gives us the high level overview of the entire project and I can see which function works for what so I can have a complete overview of the complex project so that's where we select workflow and we can call in different sequences let's say small small sequences which I've created I can call them in here and you know join the arrow and tell the bot to go to that sequence and run it and then produce it that is again bit of complex part we will start with a simple example so now the workflow is ready the first thing I'll be doing with the workflow is I'm going to put an input dialog box okay I will drag and drop it here so while you drop you see the arrow mark so once the arrow is highlighted just leave leave the mouse and you can see this has been automatically pointed out otherwise you have to manually do it okay this is one of the small trick now in the input dialog box here is the title right and here is the label so in the label I will say section assigner bot you will see where this has been shown okay and then here I am saying hi please enter your number enter your roll number right so there they will be entering the roll number done now post this so when I run this see let's see how this is appearing so hi please enter your mobile number section assigner bot so what I can do here is I can uh, you know the, the uh, you know the the person supposed to enter the uh, roll number over here right so what should I do click on ok 
you can also interchange in case you want the title label to be the other one I can just do this by alternating the so now what will happen if I run this now you can see hi please enter your roll number has come here and this I have kept blank it's up to you how do you want to design it very good and post they enter the number what I want the bot should decide whether it's a odd number or a even number and it should assign this section so for that simply I will draw a flow decision keep in the pointer and leave the mouse and you can automatically join it right so now in the decision what I will do <clears throat> I'm going to write so now the moment the student is going to enter the roll number that is going to store in a variable control K and then type roll number this is the variable okay the moment you do this come back to variable panel and change the variable type to int 32 all right all you are done now all I have to do now is this one integer 30 the roll number I have to give a condition so how do you write a condition just click on this and then here you write roll number is the variable you can see it has come automatically mod is something you know, the reminder of 2 should equals to be 0 all right mod 2 is a vv.net formula um, roll number mod 2 equals to 0 that means the if it divides by 2 the reminder should be 0 okay if it is something remaining then that's a even number uh, odd number so uh, the even number whoever is uh, been assigned with the even number they should be assigned with the section a so what I will do I'll drag a message box okay and in this message box I am going to write the text right so in this text I will say you are assigned to section A okay click okay and the same thing I am going to do for anyone who is false that means it's a odd number right it's an odd number so again how do you just leave it the mouse so if it is true this is going to be if it is a even number he is going to be assigned with section A odd number people will be assigned with section B all I will do is just change this because I have copied it I have changed to section B done easy now the next thing I will do is I will pass another message box again drag and drop so here I will change the text saying welcome to so delete this double quotes remember always double quote you have to use anytime you are writing a string inside a message box welcome to 8th standard section A okay again to optimize I'll again copy this paste it and then I'll drag it and drop it in front of the mouse right and then here I am going to change it to section B done so now what is happening let me run this so the moment I run it it's asking please enter your roll number let's say I am saying uh, let's say 25 so it should it's a odd number so you should be assigned with section B You're, you are assigned to section B welcome to 8th standard section B right now see now once I have done that the bot is closed but I wanted to run it again and again it should not stop at all so for that what I will do I will keep my mouse pointer here and bring the arrow and try to connect this to input dialog box you see that the same thing I am going to do it here I am to drag that pointer again drag the pointer and then connect it to input dialog box so if I save it now and run it it will not close it is going to ask you know ask it multiple times so let's see hi please enter your roll number let's say I'm saying 11 is my roll number so it's saying you are assigned to section B now you can see that after this the bot was getting closed so this is the benefit of workflow right I can connect it I can read and that is something in sequence is not possible correct so this is what the benefit and this this kind of activities or the project I have to use the workflow so now you can see it is asked it asked me again let me say 12 is my roll number so saying you are assigned to section A 
uh, welcome to 8th standard section a wonderful so again it's asking so the bot is will not be closed unless until you close it manually right so this is how you can utilize a workflow so this is quite interesting and this is how a workflow is being integrated to your project and being implemented and utilized so please uh, do uh, subscribe to our channel uh, this kind of interesting videos that the bot can be designed for will be brought forward and we welcome to our your our channel and please subscribe share and like the video and do comment thank you so much have a wonderful day